I'm a student and I need a cheap, durable pen that won't look like trash after a few scratches. Yesterday, my Lamy Safari uncapped in my pocket and ruined my favorite sweatshirt. Sorry. So I would like the pen to have a cap that will stay firmly in place when pocketed. However, I cannot exceed $50 in buying the pen. Any recommendations? All right, Hugh, I'm up for the challenge here. Um, you can definitely go with a snap cap. Sorry the Lamy came apart. You know, it's uh, it's it's got a fairly positive snap, but you know, I could see where that would come undone. I would say if you're looking for, I always, I always will compare the Metropolitan and the Safari. I think they're both the two best, pretty much the two best starter pens you can get. Um, it's still a snap cap, but it snaps a little more positively than the Safari. So the Metropolitan might be something for you to explore. Also the Jin Hao, uh, very cheap pen, cheaper than both of them actually, 10 bucks uh, for you know the X750, X450. This one, the X750, is a little more popular than the 450. The 450 has got a, like, you gotta like uh, yank the cap to get it undone. So that one you could definitely do. The 750 is much firmer than these other two. I would feel really good about you carrying this around in your pocket. It's a little larger maybe than, well, it's not that much larger than a Safari. It's actually about pretty comparable in size. A little heavier, but that would certainly be a way to go if you wanted to stay with this, the convenience of a snap cap. Now, if you want to get away from a snap cap, you can get really sure that you're not going to have some kind of uncapping in your pocket. Pen like the Kaweco Sport. So we're getting into threaded pens now, okay? So these are pens that you have to unscrew, but they're not going to come unscrewed in your pocket. So Kaweco Sport, it's a great pocket pen because it's small. It takes cartridges, you can convert it to an eyedropper, but then you're really kind of playing with the is it gonna leak kind of thing. Um, if you convert it to an eyedropper, that means you're filling the whole body of the pen with ink. Then you're kind of getting to a place where you could get into a leak in somewhere other than the cap, specifically right on the threads. You may want to carry it inside a Ziploc bag or something if you're gonna be carrying around your pocket there, but that's a great choice. It does take ink cartridges, and there's a new converter that's supposedly coming out. I haven't seen it yet for myself in person, but I have high hopes. Twisby Eco is another good one, very inexpensive, just under 30 bucks. Um, pretty durable pen, high ink capacity. It's got an O-ring, it's got thread, so it caps well, pretty pro positively. I have been carrying it around for a while, never had any issues with, I'll carry it in my pocket, but I've been carrying my backpack, never had any issues with it even leaking like up into the cap or anything, no. Um, so that one would be one to consider. Um, let's see here, what else have I got? The, yeah. That's it. I got all these pens laid out here. I need to look at my notes instead of looking at my pens. Those would be some of the good ones that I would recommend. Uh, along the lines of the Twisby, though, you could go with an Eco uh, like this. You could go with a Twisby Mini uh, a 580. Those are all in that price range. You can go a little bit higher to like a VAC Mini or a VAC 700. Um, they're all going to be kind of in the same utility as far as what you're talking about in this context. So those would be some of my recommendations. Obviously, if you got any other ones in the comments, go ahead and leave them.